gentlemen welcome to Jason Huta Galeng uh, Jahat Kultur's uh, video today we're going to discussing about uh, well I don't know if you can call this a rant or you can call this whatever you're going to call that one but uh, there's something about something I would like to talk about with people uh, regarding the, the the music scenes you know what I mean uh, oh, too much echo in here There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, hang on. I'm just gonna make sure it's doing the right first. Now, a walk in open air. We talk about the walk in open air, eh? Ah, uh, here it is. Uh, I've been I've been watching how the I've been looking at the, how the Wacken Open Air organizing the their tour for the band coming from Indonesia, Philippines, uh, Thailand. I'm not sure if Thailand or but like a third world country. Uh, a few things in here they say like you know the band must be haven't been assigned the, the label yet. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, or they haven't been in the competition. Because how they're doing it? They're doing like a competition, yeah? Uh, they, they're doing a runner-up. Like uh, they will they put about 10 young band, new band, together. And then they will get this young band battle each other. And I just couldn't understand. I just can't understand it. I mean, like... Uh, I just couldn't understand it. I mean, like, uh, what is all about? It's a metal festival, yeah? But uh, why, why band that coming in from different country, like a third world country, uh, they, hang on a second, uh, why the band coming from the different country, from the third world country, most of them, if you look at that in here, uh, they say like the, the band, they really look in Kill, Kill the Pia, the form in band Ache on August 8, 2008. It's a powerhouse in the metal scene, known for their pure metal core. Remember that? Metal core genre, inspired by the giant like Lamb of God and Pantera. Uh, as far as I know, Lamb of God and Pantera is not a metal core. Their music rich with religious themes and human introspection. It's both toe provoking and perfect for head banging. Having rocket major stage across Indonesia and even perform internationally, their achievements including opening achievements include, include opening for Dream Theater and placing in top rock competition with a loyal fan base. Shara Kila, a significant and deb debut album. Now the time, 2015. Killer the PS10 as a symbol of Aceh indomitable spirit and global metal presence. That's what according to them. So now, it's just funny to me because uh, first, well I'm not talking about the band uh, personally. I mean, there's a band last year, same thing, the year before, the same thing. I kind of have a little problem with that because how come, how come, like, most of the band, 
See, if we look at it in here, if we look at that in here, most of the bands come from Europe or America or any other, any other country. Most of them is a legendary band. I mean, the, the whole reason why we were not going to work in, people were not going to work in, because they want to see some good band. At the same time, at the same time, I think it's kind of unfair if you uh, putting a competition and then and then they hyped up this band. I mean, like uh, you, you give them you give them a big name. When matter of fact, like most of the band that go overseas nowadays, beside Booker Kill, Jasset, and uh, beside before they are a big band in Indonesia. But after that, all of this uh, the competition, so-called competition, to me, I think it's just bullshit because how. They doing it, if you read it, is uh, who have the biggest sponsor. I mean, last couple of years ago, they have a they have a band such a such a what do you call that one? Uh, Voice of Batropet or some. You know what I mean? They're going overseas, but at the same time, if you think about that, they know our house in Indonesia. They are not the bigger band in Indonesia. They're not a big band in Indonesia. We just hyped up because you know you hype them up because they're going to work and then now whoa suddenly they are big. But they're not. I mean we got a band like uh, Dead Vomit, we got Six Sakubur, we got uh, Wafat, we got so many other bands in Indonesia. They or Papi are from Bandung also. I keep saying Bandung, Bandung, but yeah, at the same time. All this band. That didn't go for competition because this competition is basically for the kid, for the children. I mean, for the new band. If you look at that, it's like metal core. Look, listen, guys. I'm not complaining about it. I mean, good on them. You know what I mean? They're gonna go to Europe, but at the same time, obviously, it's all about the money. I mean, last time a band like uh, when they're going to Europe, they got sponsored by a Jarum, the cigarette company from Indonesia. I know working lately they've been working with the with the with the tobacco company in Indonesia. No, no, you know. They know it or they don't know it, I don't know, but I'm not sure. But this is what I'm talking about. Uh I just don't understand. I mean like what's the criteria, you know, like at the same time, I just reading what these people are saying before about the killer kill at the PR, they say, Oh, they're gonna wear a traditional fucking dress, or oh, they're gonna carry uh, they're gonna get they're gonna, they're gonna play an in, instrument, uh, local instrument. They're gonna sing like, Meh. to me, they just if that's not you, why do you have to do that? You know, obviously, like we just try to force the band to play or to act like they are early sepultura. How the sepultura get in the fucking world stage? Back in the day, and uh, to be honest, you know we we can't deny it. I mean, most of the Indonesian band look into Sepultura, and that's that's the whole idea. The tribal, the tribal music, the ethnic music, the combination, the mix with the with the you know with the tri with the tribal uh, sound, and most of Indonesian try and doing the same thing. A couple of years ago, we got fucking down for life. They're, they're going to uh, to Wacken, you know. They're wearing a they're wearing a traditional Java Java garb and stuff like that. But at the same time, if you look at it, they don't play like that back in Indonesia. They're only wearing things like that when they are going to to Wacken. I mean, they they're forcing it too hard to act and to look like a, they are actually like a traditional. And uh, for these people in Europe, like for these people, like they're going to attend in the work and they're gonna think that they're gonna think of you in everyday life. That's how you, you dress up. But that's I don't think so. You know, as are you sound like that from back home? No, it's not. 
It's just basically just another metal core. You know, I mean, metal core died a few years ago. You know, if you think about that. So I don't understand the whole thing. I mean, like it's too much sensation. I mean, this is what they said. Yeah, I love the I love the old school death metal one. I love the school. I love the old school metal. Like, what metal is actually metal? Not like forcing it to make it look like. You people know what I mean. I'm like, like I say, I was I was reading this uh, killer killer the pia or whatever. The, the, yeah, uh, they say like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna dressing up as like this as well and that. I say, sorry guys, nobody we're gonna give a shit in Europe. You know what I mean? If they give a shit about you, they don't give a shit about Palestine. You know they don't give a shit. They just look at you like a clown. You know what I mean? But to be honest, uh, why do you have to lie about it? Why do you have to? Do you know, you're singing in English most of the time and then you're playing the music like metal should be universal, it's a metal. You should just play how you are, not acting or dressing up or want to look like some some band. You know, I, I believe that like, I'd rather you hate me for everything I am than you love me for something that I am not. This is what I'm talking about. I'd rather you hate me for any, everything about me because that's me, then you love me for something that I'm not, and I'm actually lying to you. That you, you know, to me that's a bullshit. You know, that's a big lie. Either you believe it or not, to me that's a bullshit. I mean, like, if you look at that in here, like, you look at all the photo, photo of the of the band before and after. You know, Killa de Pia. Now, this is what we're talking about. Let's have a look. That none of them in here, they wearing a traditional or they playing traditional music or they look like a traditional people. You know, same thing with the several years back. They uh, they got a down for life. Ah, here we go. Now, guys, that is if you know this photo, if you look at that in here. You know, they mm -hmm. wearing a traditional Java batik dress. But if you look at that, in everyday packing life, none of them they are wearing, you know what I mean? In the everyday, you know, if you understand what I mean, they want to become a, like a, they want to become like, like sepultura back in the day. I mean, that's the whole idea. You know, oh, because you're going overseas, you know what I mean? Come on, you know, you just play the music, play metal. You know, you should be just, people should be just watching you because you are metal, you're playing metal, not because they think you are traditional, because they think you are mixing, uh, uh, because you, you look, you know, or you're going to play, you know, look at that. Most of the time, they're actually wearing a, uh, army clothes, uh, army bloody uh, 
It's like a normal metal band, you know? It's like normal hardcore metal band. I just don't understand why we have to act, you know, like not who you are. That's my bigger problem with this whole thing. I mean, good on them, you know, they can go and go overseas. But to me, this is the shit that pissing me off. If you look at that now, you know, that's what how they are in everyday life. And suddenly when they're playing in Wacken, you know, when they're playing in Wacken, they were in the batik. You know, they were in batik. I know you can be proud about who you are, but at the same time, this is a metal festival, isn't it? Metal soul. It's not about bloody showing off of your your nationality and not, you know, your nation. I don't give a shit what people say, you know, just some drunken fucking kids gonna watch me, you know, in a, in Europe at the same time, you know, the, the European people, well, what they are. Did they respect fucking ethnicity? No. If they do, they're not gonna be fucking uh you know, sleep while guys are get fucking, or get slowed up. You know what I mean? This is just a fucking wasting time if I look at that. But at the same time, like I said to you guys, it's actually most of this uh, festival sponsored by Jarum Company. It's a tobacco company. You know? That's how they are able to go overseas. I mean, like at the same time, we're just selling a fucking cancer stick, you know? DC DC, if you want to know what they are, Jarum Chocolate, you know? Jarum Chocolate is a cigarette company, if you want to know what I mean, you know? So that's the, you look at, look at that right there. Yes, so let's have a look at this. Uh, this is in Indonesian, yeah? Uh, I don't know if I can translate that to English, but... Uh, give me a second. Uh, pro and Contra in the Wacken Metal Battle Indonesia. This is 2019, and uh, not many people realize it. This is the audition they did 2019. Some of this band that coming in from all over Indonesia, this one's a pretty good band too. Uh, the Wacken one, 20 June. Uh, to me, this is uh, just the biggest, uh, what do you call that? It's the biggest, uh, I don't know if I can say that. The Wacken Indonesia, what is that? If you look at that in here, yeah? This is a Jarum, it's a tobacco company. This is the tobacco company that sponsoring this band that going overseas. So some of this band that able to going overseas is actually, wow. What can I say? Uh, this band is called Taring, Taring, Taring. I won't lie to you guys, it's a dog shit man, to be honest with you. But they win. You know? They win. Why do you think they are win? Because they are pollution with the sponsor. Jarum Chocolate, they come from Bandung and they organizing it in Bandung. Uh, this audition, Music Extreme, the biggest one in Germany, walking open air. Uh, was in so in the what's that one? Saturday night, 22 of the 6. Uh, Wacken Metal Battle Indonesia. Uh, in Dom Balerna Si Balungan Soreang Kabupaten Bandung. So it's Bandung, like there you go. So the, the winner that time is this band. <laughs> If you are going to Wacken, if you want to watch Indonesian band in Wacken, because you hear so much about the Indonesian band, it's not because they are 
a legend in Indonesia or big band in Indonesia. Indonesia, they got shit on. They got plenty. They got giant. They got so many, many, many band. You know, so many Indonesian band. Whether you believe it, yes, it is. If you believe me or not. So, to me, I don't get it, you know, band like Taring able to going to Wakan Metal Festival, but at the same time, then you realize it, then you realize it. Yes, jarumchocolate.com, see the size of that logo there, it's actually the biggest Indonesian tobacco company you know they slyly you know what I mean they advertising the, you know because illegal in Indonesia to advertising cigarette you know but there you go Indonesia anything can happen if you know what I mean so you can say whatever you're gonna say same thing when uh, down for life Wacken live at the Wacken metal band I tell you the truth, man. I tell you the truth. They are not the biggest band in Indonesia. They are not the most popular band in Indonesia. The reason why they can be, they win, because like I say before, you know, they organizing themselves, you know, like. But in the end of the day, it's about the sponsor, I reckon. If you know what I mean, so. Either we like it or not, that is how it is. I think it's just unfair for the band that come, that other, other different band. I mean, like, they're working hard, they're trying hard, and then they're actually pretty good. So you, are under, you understand band like, what? Uh, Dead Pomit or some other band in Indonesia is plenty many many good band in Indonesia but you know or Pargochi but none of this band will be able to going to Wacken because the criteria they put in there the things they have to do there you go here, here, here it is here it is that's what they say here it is The TikHot.com in Indonesia. This is what I'm talking about. This is bullshit what I'm talking about. Berbatik di Jerman. Down for life. Ingin bangun relasi di Wacken Open Air. So, they're wearing a fucking batik in, in, in Wacken Air. Uh, in 2018, wearing a batik. Batik is Indonesian traditional Java uh, batik. Eh? There's a uh, uh, color of the, the things. But, what am I complaining in here? In everyday life, or in everyday show they have, they want to be fucking Jamie Jasta. You know? They're wearing a fucking bandana in the fucking stage. You know? Uh, we playing at the first day, 12 o'clock. You know? Only 3,000 or 2, 4,000 people watching. Which is which is this is opening so like I say they treat you like shit this is what I'm talking about this is what I'm talking about it's bullshit you know so I think whatever it is what can lost their uh, well, what do you call that 
they don't they are anymore the I think you know first they working with the tobacco company but there's there's a there's a kaluman there motherfucker hell yeah you know and then they lost against just uh done for life that's bullshit or carnivore whoo you know or capital wafat find it black you know if you think about that blantara so and then they lost against this come on again tari the hardcore one come on 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 tell me the truth come on come on you know this band is just a fucking photocopy of a burger kill you know the black oh, I don't know, you know just i don't know i'm just you know you guys you can hate me for what i'm saying but that's the truth you know i can i can help much about it uh but that's the truth guys you know Now we're gonna I'm gonna play one of this band. Uh Killer Killer the Pia. You tell me, is it traditional or is it actually just another metal core? only part sound like a lamb of god and the rest of them sound like a fucking all that remind to me and uh to be honest to be honest to be honest here let's be let's be honest about about what we say what we think uh just you know i think i think they've lost credibility you know walking uh if we can if we can bring that legendary band like like you know like oh my god it's just too many you guys won't believe it war call we got war call in there we got just if you look at that the lineup the indonesian band it's just fucking amazing amazing band and suddenly we have to deal with this rubbish because they pleasing the sponsor most you know if you know 